Let's see what happens. going. So we'll work this out. Okay, it says it's live. So we will see what's happening. Let's see if it says it's got sound. Let's find out. Sounds like it has sound. Awesome. Alright. Let's continue this then, shall we? So where did I get to last night? Just got the crystal star from that keel hall key or whatever it's called. So I think I've got to go back to the thousand year door. But I'll stop in and talk to the uh, Gumba. Professor E. Gumba dude first. <coughs> see what happens. Uh, see if he has anything or knows anything that I don't. Oh, funny email. Let's have a look. Very popular today. Gumas, four, you know, nothing. Funny uh, flowers. I don't really care about that. I was checking my health. My health is all good. We'll talk, we'll talk to the, uh, I, can, I can never remember the Professor Gumba's dude's name. Who's this guy? Oh, that was impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a proportion, uh, portness, yeah, portness sign of you, Mario. Uh, it went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt it's important as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure this out, Mr. Up, come and tell me immediately. Okay, yeah, it's going to be where we went and fought that dragon, isn't it? Where was that to? I can't remember where the dragon even was. Um, yeah. Why not? Power bobbery. Power up Gumbella as well, because uh, just haven't done her in a while. I don't think I've ever leveled her up. This bit does take a bit too long though, for every character. There you go, let's wander. Do I go and try to find where it's telling me to go? Where I fought the dragon. It'll be the, uh... Oh, the Mother Spire, what was it? It was the one in the little village, wasn't it? Uh, another crystal star. Yes, well, as usual, take that down to the Thousand Year Door and we'll talk. I can't very get to the place which had the, uh... Spire. It's probably that one where I could blow a hole in the wall though. You know what, let's go find it. Oh, right there. Can I blow up that? And I've got a bomb dude. Can I blow up all these cracks in the walls? Okay, that gives us a new pipe. Um. You know what, let's go find the name of the place. Intrigued what is beyond that wall. Uh, is it this way? Uh, oh, not. No. Not tried using the boat on this bit though. What's 
looks like it might be worth doing that. Jump to that. See where this one takes me because I don't remember this. Well, I'd probably use the um, Yoshi to jump this easier, couldn't I? Never mind. Where does this, oh, where does this go? This looks like the right place. Or is it? Yeah, this must be the right place. Actually, I don't know. Or wherever it is, it's on the bottom floor, and I just keep walking all the way right. Any of the enemies attack me, you can just destroy them and one it. Unless they hit me first. One star point. Fighting these people might not be worth it. Ooh. Take that power block. Ah, look the door. I can't work out if this was the area or not. It's either this one or it's the one that's just off the village. Ah, uh, go away. Quake hammer, shall we? Should we have to kill him, shouldn't we? And damage myself. Why not? We're halfway to another level, though. It's not too bad. Ah, uh, stupid dry bones. Uh, let's just quake hammer up again. I'm hoping this is area, not the one that's through the village. I have a big feeling it was the one through the village. But maybe that is this one. Maybe the village is just further along. I don't remember. Yeah, this looks like it could be it. Of course they're all flying. Maybe it looks like that should damage more than one person. Bounce the gumbers, it might actually take them away. That's easy. Just stay away 
this one, they might not attack me. Yeah, this is the room, one with all the spikes. I don't know if this is the one that the riddle was on about, but I remember seeing this. Just in case the spikes come out when it blows up. Really? That's also two off of the... Nope, that time it worked. Been wondering for ages what's through this hole. Got an up power. It's unclear what this means, but you should ask somebody. Okay. Wonder if that is what the guy wanted me to get. Let's run back and find out. It's not what I was expecting to find in that room. But it does say beyond the bit with the uh, the cursed chest. Which is that. Save now we've got it. Don't think I'm gonna die on the way back, but you never know. Somebody might jump me. Why not my up arrow? One of these areas is full of enemies still, wasn't it? I don't think I've got any of them. It'll be this one. Oh crap. You just go the waste. <laughs> I, I did get good at blocking them, right? Guys, taking more beating. That's if anyone then the better you get the two hit, uh, the, the two hit one. That's why. Right. Well, the two damage. Should I say two damage? Not even worth it for the XP. No, oh, I've got to get the stairs to get back. Oh. This little bit's just annoying. This cube controller's not as loud as it was when I uh, first started using it. back up to the surface and talk to the guy first. What do we do? I'll do the crystal star because it'll only put it on a map, will it? Okay. Why am I not just using the Yoshi to get over this? I do not know. Maybe I just like prolonging my game time. I'm gonna play it in them. I'm gonna play a jump on got a hammer on them. I'm a super hammer on them. We'll check what's down that um, little area we unlocked as well. I did actually unlock a shortcut to this thousand year door, that thousand year door at one point, but I can't remember where that was. So that ain't much use. Let's have a look what's down here then. Yeah, it takes us to the background. Who is this person? Uh, you've come quite a ways. This is Shea Rippo's adjustment house. 
if you think you want to change your abilities or partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. Um, I don't know what it means by adjusting their ranks. Let's see what that does. Okay. No idea what that's about. I'm not going to faff with that. Let's give her a thousand new door. Actually, I should have went back to the harbour. There's a, another bit that I could have... Um... Could use the boat. Uh, drop FP used. One, yeah. Allied to attack even after changing partner, that sounds useful. Now so I can get this any use. Uh, never succumb to a first strike, that seems pretty useful. Um, change sound effects, pretty lucky. <coughs> when Mario's attacked causes energy to miss sometimes. So I at automatically restore HP in battle, I think I've already got that. I'm gonna take that. That was useful. And for some reason I'm gonna take this weird sounding one. Because you never know it might come in handy. So what's in here? Oh, I can't what does this person do? I can't remember. Oh yeah, they tell you some kind of fortune or something. I've never actually used them. I think I've tried to roll under this, or have I? Seeing these guys down here. Got a lot of health though. Oh crap, I let go of that. Amazing. I imagine it would take the first one out. Okay. I'll give you a decent amount of XP. goes to Twilight Town, doesn't it? I don't know where I need to go, it was actually down that bit that was next to the one that I went down to the background, I think. such an important place in the game and I seem to always remember but forget where it is. Good boxing one of them. Again though, decent amount of XP for those two dudes. Uh, did I ever check behind here for star bits? I must have. Um, I don't think that goes down to it. Does this one... If I drop down through this, does this go to it? I did find a shortcut to it at one point. No, this just put me back to where I was. Okay, 
Wait, that's when I blew up. Is it down that one then? Or is it down that one? I don't remember. Ah, this looks more like it. Gumbas even add towards the uh, XP at all anymore. Right, is it down or is it just across the go? I think is it just in here? What's in here? I don't remember. Oh, that's shortcuts. Shortcuts, isn't it? So it must be down. Oh, there's a boat bit there. Is it in here? Hey, he found it finally. Save because I realised there's a save point there. Okay. Hey, what's it? What we got now then? So there's two more crystal stars. There's one of the one that the evil X not dudes have got. I want to be wherever this next one is, I guess. Where are we going then? What's that over there? The location of Crystal Star recorded on your magical map. Awesome. Right, let's pop to that professor fellow. Always like the fact it takes you straight back. Great news, my friends. The next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a tip, I've heard to tell that only the rich and famous call that place home. Let me guess I take the train to this one. Yes, yes, I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called the Poshley Sanctum. 
No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Sounds positively <laughs> scintillating. Dear boy, point us there. That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxur uh, luxurious steam engine excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time it will be a cinch. I don't think it will be. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't you have wealth or fame to ride that train? That may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pinata for help with this one, with this one too. And I'm terribly sorry, but impossible. Can't do it. The man's reprehensible. Oh, drat. I suppose there's nothing for it. Hey, old buddy. If we must, we must. Let's go. Excellent. Then we're, uh, then we're set. We may not have much time left, so we must hurry. I'll gather the information you can. Just uh, you guys just handle the end of your, just your end of things, whatever it says. My reading skills are horrendous. I'm only reading out loud. I can read in my head easy. Um. Let's heal up. I'm gonna go see where that boat thing goes to as well down the bottom. I guess I could buy something decent off the uh, trader dude here as well. He seems to have some interesting looking stuff. Jazz if I die. I'm trying to think where else I've seen like little boat launchy, like little boat jays. There's one. Oh, what's Luigi got to say? This must be, we must have to go this way. So, uh, well, another. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazzafraz Town this time, where I'm telling you I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest too. It was pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happened? It was a pretty long story. Why not? We've listened to all of them so far. Jazzafraz Town. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lovely place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer and was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But he said we could win the compass part in the upcoming <laughs> drama slam. He said the so-called drama drama llama plaque might in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try. So we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat and Social Awareness. The script was great, but it got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass. By the side of the road, grass bro, grow. Uh, grass bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if, it, if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part and I, part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out even more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans, my fans. Fans of grass, they swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the marvellous compass which pointed north. It pointed to the rupturous ruins of the Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Prince of Clare, how you soothe me. I will be grass for you. <laughs> I will find you, I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. So yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat and came back to Roadport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. They should make that into a game, like his little adventure bit. As a side story. I'm hazy and I must say Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure we're getting on tour to appear on, the, uh, on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle and of course Luigi will be grass. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to go off to the side somewhere but no, I can only come down this way. Uh, what's up here? I don't think I can blow that open. That'd be a bit useful to blow a hole in it or something. 
Uh, well, is that Starface? Is that all this here? Grab me Starface. I know there's a chest here, hidden away behind stuff. HP drain. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but we're getting HP per, one per, per one per attack. That might be quite useful. Keep pressing the wrong button on that. Right, let's go talk to the Don again. See if he'll help us out. I wonder what I gave that rat a hundred coins for then. That he stood here. He hasn't. I thought he was going to do something with these little launch paddy things, but he hasn't. I may have just wasted a hundred coins on a rat at some point. Damn rat. Right, what's this guy got for sale? Uh, w emblem. Change Mario's clothes into Wario's clothes. Why do I want to buy that? Jump far by one, but lose your hammer ability. No. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. No, I can't. I can't spend all that money on the air. Uh, just to become a Wario. <clears throat> Another Don dude's down here somewhere. He's hidden in the back of the shop, but can we just blow this open now and not have to keep walking through the shop? No, I thought that, that would be a shortcut. It's not. They shouldn't have made that a shortcut. Oh, poor boss. He's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Uh, un uh, underboss Frankie's gone. Uh, the boss is in shambles. What is a syndicate to do? A scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs right from left for us. Hey, but enough of that uh, about us and our stupid problems. What can we do for? Uh, tickets for the ritziest train around, for the express train. You want tickets for that rolling wingding? Oh, uh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, that's giving up tickets, that's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. I just can't see, stand seeing the boss like this. We just knew where. If we knew where those new words were, we could take the boss to see him. Hang on, those two fondly folk, Frankie and Francesca from Keyhawk. Keyhawkey, I can't even say that. <coughs> Who's on that? On the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where young Miss Pinata is. Really? No lie. I swear to you, if you are a lion, we'll turn you into a confetti, so help me. But if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back, pal? We'd get, uh, we'd get ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, get me? Uh, you bring us Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. Yeah, we'll go get her. That's better. Uh, I knew once you'd understand our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. I knew we'd have to go get her. Don't really want to go back to that island. The track that is. Proper track. I still haven't found the key to that guy's house, which is like one of the side quests I started ages ago. Right there. Is that a secret area down that I've never noticed that I've just spotted? Or am I going mad? No, I look like you can roll under it. Or at least go. Somewhere. You can't go down there, can you? No. Never mind. Let's keep wandering. No, I need to go down to the dock, then I take the ship. I should save it just in case we get attacked by someone or something. Uh, yeah, we got a key hall key. Excellent. Set sales destination key hall key. Oh, 
Hopefully it does it a lot quicker than just going through like a captain's journal or something. I thought they would have just done this kind of like a fast travel once you've unlocked the place rather than watching a little animation, but it's probably to disguise the loading, isn't it? What do you reckon they are down in this bit? As long as we get here, they've disappeared somewhere else. I'm not seeing them. Okay, right, let's start asking about. We're all upset about something before what happened. Uh, it's not a deserted island, you know. I mean, we're here, aren't we? That probably been a while, eh? Apparently it's off in the jungle somewhere. Looking for something, I think. Okay, back into the jungle we go then. I spent way too long wandering around in this jungle backwards and forwards. Hopefully they're not too far into it. Oh, they're only there. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How have you been uh, there, pal? Uh, we do something for you. Yes, you can come with me. What, the boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And it's times like this. You see, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about the ring and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. Of course, you sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me a hundred times. A hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on, babe. Of course I love you. My little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. I love you, I love you, I love you. I wonder if it actually does do it 99 times. Uh, 10 times. You do actually have to sit and press this 99 times. It's a good time to swig some beer then. I wonder if I can back out and just find the ring instead. It's full of weird little bits like this that I've never seen done like in other games. There you go, I said it. Hey Frankie Baby, you're such a silly billy. Now my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. Oh, we still find the damn ring. Uh, we'll work with our lonesomes. Uh, I shouldn't think so, we should help them. Okay, is it going to be hidden in some of these? little plant bits. Let's check all of these around here first. Pretty sure it's going to be further in, but you never know. At least the skull rock's not that far in. These guys are annoying though. <laughs> they always come with those... No, they haven't got a self-replicating one though. They're the green ones. Um. Hit them with a quake hammer. Nah, let's go with the bomb spot just because this is fun. Oh, I think it's just going to screw up one guy. Not good at blocking that.
no idea what that is. Oh, this is the only self replicating ones. So, unless I can take these out in one set using the bombs, not being really cool on them. It's only going to make a load of them around there, isn't it? Oh, I used the sleepy sheep. Sleepy sheep sounds like about five or ten, doesn't it? Almost slightly too late on that one. Take him out, and hopefully the this next bomb attack will take out the plant dude. Well, hopefully the hammer will take him out. Then we shouldn't lose any health with the poison. These aren't giving anyone near as much XP as they were when I was here first time. Right. Is that going to fall over? Do they have six health, these guys? Here? No. They have seven health. This is not an annoying dude sitting on top of here again. Sets of grass and down this bit. Just in case there's another coconut over the bit. The answer is no, you cannot go down. Go down the pipe while well, right in the ocean if you can. Still don't know, I'm supposed to get a little snowman badge. Because if you walk off this bit, you walk into your death. So you can jump on that and go quick, you can. Hmm. No idea how you get that one. Now my luck will check all this thing. There it is. Really easy to spot. That didn't spawn any enemies again. Oh, of course it did. Of course. Oh, don't angry at me. Chucking stuff at me. 
Um, take a bit of damage off of them. So I don't. I can't actually do anything there, so that's just a family. I should appear for the crowd, why not? Bloody poison. Fairly. Three points, is that it? these guys. I don't want to run past him. No, I don't want to strike first that way because I can't actually strike that way. It's going to hurt me. I'm trying to jump past him. Um. Actually, it's not too bad because I can use this attack on it. Oh shit, I'm not in, oh, I'm not in a good way, I feel really. Uh, what items do I have? Let me take my big Mario ones. That's a decent amount to come back to. Still don't have a great deal of help. But, never mind. Mm. Hope the hammer just takes the hammer. Yeah, I should be able to just jump on this chat. I'll take him down on it. That's my beard down. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, I think I'm just going to try to flee from all the other fights. I'm not doing well on health. So there is any others, there might not be. No. Give them the wedding ring. That's it, that's my ring, you found it. Awesome. Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. Sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, it's only end up, uh, we'll be down by the dark tree. Back, please. Will do. <coughs> so we'll take a quick wander this way. Just 
heal up some prayer. Money seems to be coming in thick and fast now, so not much to worry about. Hey Kamara, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we're let's get oh, let's get rope up. Hey daddy, please hang on till we get there. Awesome. Yes, we're trying to rope up. Whilst I'm doing this little cutscene thing, I'm gonna go grab a beer. Actually grab two beers because I thought I can't just grab a small one. <sighs> we have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Let's go get our train ticket. Hopefully anyway. costume. It's there. No, don't do it, don't do it. I'll know I need money for something. Okay. I want to the back of the shop. Jump and open doors the same button. Daddy, daddy, wake up, open your eyes. Boss, come on. Francesca? Daddy, boss. Oh, my little Francesca, you came back to me, and you too, Frankie. Of course we did, daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man, forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay used to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. It looks like even Don Pinata, uh, the dawn of oh, untime, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. Uh, the time has come. Everyone are going to retire. Now it's time. I mean it. I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you're the new head of the Pinata Syndicate. What? But boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't got to do this. And I mean me, boss. No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about a good one. Uh, I want to take. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the Syndicate the way I did. You, Mario. It seems like you've done your done yet another favour for me, kid. About that boss. Oh, this is just going to be beautiful. 
I know it. What did you guys do? Well, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the express uh, if he brought you your daughter. Is that all? You have me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. Yeah, we've got the train ticket. Oh, uh, now that I've retired, I've got to get out of here. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? Uh, you're the boss. You you do good now, Frankie. Just leaving him there. He doesn't know what he's doing, does he? Chapping him at the deep end. Got a lot of work to do, and don't worry. I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense. You're calling Francesca. Francesca. Yes, or Miss Boss. Underboss, or I mean boss. You got her her loyalty. Uh, we'll be by your side wherever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't you ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the syndicate? Uh, it's the life, kid. I feel like joining any kind of boss mob boss thing. Your syndicate must leave. Yes, we can get to Poshy Heights. Six crystal stars, as good as ours. I heard that by Uglies. So the six crystal stars in Poshy Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, you're that bedlam. Normally this wouldn't... Uh, this would be where I finally deal with you and ha that homely traitor Vivian. Something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live for now. Instead, I'll beat you to Bosley Heights and get that crystal start before you do. Uh, that sounded bad. We've got to get to Bosley Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Rogueport Station. We shall indeed. Reading. Are you Mario? Did this email? That, did this email? Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out. Captured. Save my captured friends and figure share a hot tip with you. Uh, there's still lots of treasures in creepy steeple. Yeah. I don't feel like backtracking to do. Ah. Oh. Oh, we'll the backtrack, and we need to go talk to that guy about that thing we found. Then we'll. I might do some backtracking at the end if you can. I kind of just wanted to play through the story of it. this an up arrow an up arrow up of course does it raise my rank once or no he's disappeared uh, this is the ultra stone so that it is what the star sign meant I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic with this I can power up your partners even more Yeah, that's worth going for. Uh, now we're cooking, let me know who you want to power up. Um, let's do Bobbery. Still only three? Yep, yeah, we can do two of them then. Whilst it's doing this, I will open this beer. This weird thing that I'm not too sure how the bottle opener works. Uh, bottle over there. Oh. That works surprisingly well. Uh, 
Yes, I also do. Um, little Cooper dude. Cooper, little Yoshi dude. I use him a lot. How much it's level and up Up to thirty. He had twenty before, didn't he? Ain't too bad. Can't grumble. Yes. Have a look at my ticket. We're getting on. All aboard! Taking the blimp in the background before. The last one must be to get onto the X North ship or whatever it is they've got. Uh, chapter 6. Three days of excess. Okay. Barrier's room. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, the Excess Express. This is so deluxe, man. The three days of Boshley Heights are going to be over like that. Uh, hey, you see that? Something on the floor. When did that get here? Don't go to Poshley Heights, get off the train now, or a sticky yummy doom awaits. That's freaky threat. Uh, you don't think this could be Bedlam's work, do you? Whatever the cycle is, you got to figure out. Uh, got to figure out on this train, right? you got to get this nut before anything bad goes down on the train. It's gonna be like a, is it murder on the Orient Express or whatever? It's gonna be like that. The dry shrooms on the Awesome. Penis shroom. Climb the ladder. Okay. okay, number five is Mario's room. Save on the train. Uh -huh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take the train just so they can eat our yummy, fantastic food. Uh, on this trip, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. I'm, to I'm totally swooning. So, hope he comes here to eat soon. Okay. Hello, I'm Chef Shimmy, the culinary expert. Glad to make you a comment. Uh, I mean, okay, it, it did get it wrong. I mean acquaintance. So sorry, cheap cheap. This is my uh, cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing it will make your tongue cry and shame. Please do taste it so that when my passion does not wither, so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Shiny stove here from polished with brilliant luster. Little shop. What's in the shop? Mystery. Yeah, I'll buy a mystery. Oh, we're well far for that. Make sure invisible against tax. Taste medicine cures poison and other ailments. Let's take one of them. Big super shroom as well. Okay, counts up going left. I'm on my way back home. I have strayed so long. 
I have forgotten what it looks like. Detective novels. Me, I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Forshy Heights. I'm driving on business so everything goes on the expense account. I think I should have went the other way. Alright. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Bub and we're going to get a birthday present for me and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Are you the champion of the Glitz Pit? Are you not? Yeah, the Great Gonzalez. Bound for Boshley Heights? Well, it is certain a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Ah, hello! How are you? We're on route, on route to Boshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Hey, you got Star Peaks, awesome. I'm not too sure what's going on in the game at the moment. Uh, I've just got on this train. And apparently somebody's trying to do something bad. That's all I know. Hello to you, and welcome to the Excess Ex Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I must... I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy treat. I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else... I will let you know immediately. Okay, I can't go that way then. Wander the other way. Oh, there's a load of people just studying now. What's going on? Uh, I thought I was going to have a nice lunch on my expense account. Rats, this is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. What's happened? I'm dying for a taco, uh, guy. Just couldn't you just whip up something real, real quick? Uh, they took the whole pot, really, the whole deal. This isn't my, in my contract. Oh no! And Zip Toad is here, and everything. No, I, my life is totally ruined. No, my heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my masterpiece. I mean masterpiece. And now it's gone, and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Oh, cheers. What have you been playing? Mm, yes, I can't say without the slightest hesitation. It smells like a case to me. But what shall we uh, we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? The case of the pot of super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Yeah, I haven't had too bad of a day. I've been um doing DIY, putting up shelves and stuff, so... I wouldn't say it was fun, but <laughs> did a bit of charity shop hunting, trying to find some new video games, but couldn't find anything. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that in fact you will. A mystery. Uh, a mystery uh, you just said, and uh, exactly what kind of dish is this? I'm known as Pennington. You, you likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my fe dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. I don't think I need any new games, really. <laughs> uh, the central clue of this case is also the most vital one, as it happens. Well, I'm still playing stuff from the GameCube. Uh, is that our perpetrator? took the whole pot and stew and all, and his, this esteemed friend leads me to believe that one responsible is you, you gladness woman. Are you totally cuckoo? I like, have no idea what you're talking about. Pardon me, sorry, please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt the need to practice my accusation skills. You understand? Yes, sorry. I, I just need to stop buying games. Play through some of them. But I need to play some shorter ones, not games like this. We go on forever. Let me get this straight. What we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and I guess that's about it, right? Uh, all the scene is for up squares. Forget you guys. I'm going back to my room. 
you there, I'm in a bit of a hurry, get back to your room. Uh, you sir are highly suspicious. I've just broken this case, the true culprit I believe is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad, the Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. Just making stuff up, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer. <coughs> I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well. Uh, then, who did do it? Puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Wait, let me just wander around and find out who did it. Might be easy. Save. I haven't been to the right yet. I went in there last time. What was that? A clue. There's traces of something on the carpet. This looks like they spilled stew on the carpet. Nasty almost stepped in it. We can just follow the trail to the thief, don't you think? And you know what? It might be even be the nut who made the sticky yummy threat. What makes me say that? If you steal, you probably do other bad stuff, right? Anything hidden in these drawers? No. One of these rooms is going to have something hidden in it that I'm just going to miss completely. Check this drawer the problem, right? Several magazines. There's one, an issue devoted to the food of the excessive press. Much better with the chef. Uh, what do you want? Sorry about that. What are you saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen. You're playing the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. I'll probably check the drawer. Let's check it again, just in case there's anything else. There's something under the magazine. You've got a galley pot. An empty stew pot. This thing looks like it was licked clean. I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me. So you were so enamoured uh, of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chomping shallots. Yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but that was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never reoccur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen, my keen sleuth instincts in identify you as the correct person to collar the ruffian. Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know it. I know of it, and there's a lone detective on the train that the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six. That we may discuss in private. Thank you, We will come find you. No worries. You uh, don't want to have an emergency like that away from the toilet. Now please return to the pot to the chef, if you could. We will do indeed. Going this way and see what's this way first. Who's this then? Well, hello there, you sweet savage sleuth of a man. You're spectacular, dear. Uh, there are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Okay. Is this the one that's going to have the actor in it? Looks like it. Hey, guy, getting falsely accused is a bummer, right? I don't know it. There are several postcards and glasses featuring zip toad inside. Oh, we've got a door that goes this way. Right now, for some motion, so that's how we get off the train, then, I guess. Um, I do like Mario. Uh, to be honest, I, I used to play a lot of um, Mario 64 and games before that. Didn't really play. I didn't get a uh, Galaxy. Um, tried uh, Odyssey. I did like it, but um, yeah, girlfriend started playing it, and I never got back to it. But yeah, I, I just just want to go through this to the end, and it's just a stupidly long game. Uh, greetings, welcome to the Excess Express. I'm what is called the train engineer. Our opulent journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Uh, are they not incredibly splendid? Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of our locomotive delights all else. So let's hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah! Can I, can I press buttons? 
operation console there. I'm only small switches and levers here. Oh, that's not gonna let me, is it? Well, when I picked it up, I got a memory card with it, and it's got people's saves on it. And a lot of them are clocking in around 30 to 50 hours, by the looks of it. I think the one on the N64 was a bit shorter than this one. Alright, let's give the chef back his pot. So you found the beef, or wait, I mean the thief. I'm joyful. Ah, uh, sir, you are here of my world. You have even brought my pot. It's empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you from me. Here is a little taste of my part of uh, powerful gratitude. Please fake it. And why must I butcher this language so? So shameful, please take it, I mean. I always feel ashamed that I've never actually finished a Final Fantasy game. Started a lot of them. Just never finished one. Uh, oh, I was supposed to get a train car at six, wasn't I? <coughs> Definitely gonna play a shorter game after this, though. Definitely gonna have to. Uh, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work in the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deluded from, uh, have deduced from this lack of any incriminating clues in this room. In any case, I must say I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it's decided then, I shall take you on my new, as my new assistant. Uh, to reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am, the t I am a detective from Poshley Heights. What's about this guy is the one who's been... He's the, he's the evil dude. I'm known in the circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you've heard of me, so that's all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, you demand, do not tell. I shall deduce your identity. That moustache, that nose. Uh, it's all too easy, sir. Quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? <laughs> no need to introduce yourself. I know all about it, the famous Luigi. Now about that threat, our man has decli uh, declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky tasty explosion. The family of bomb, uh, that family of the bombs, they are definitely suspects. Now Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay, let's talk to you again. Take heed Luigi, our man has declared intent of pain. Okay. Where are the bomb dudes? Okay, the lightings have changed. Thought I got another exclamation point then when I was walking upwards. So where are the family of the bombs? I can't remember where they are. Uh, not in there, because that's my one. Are they four? Right. Oh, that was the fat dude. It seems like it's going to be a rather dull part of this game, but okay. Get in and out of the train cart rooms. Oh, this is the toad dude. Where's the good bombs then? Where are they? Unless this means it's night time and we have to go to sleep. Does have the uh, cute factor. Let me guess they were right next door. Right, that's the rat. Oh, last one I checked. Of course it's the last one. 
Uh, Mum and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday, so I, uh, I'm so bored I wish I brought my GBA. Uh, I think we should get little Bub the Advanced Learner's Classic Series from Bobomery. Two words, cheap and boring, think more luxurious. Dear, perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such, uh, for such things. Gold Bob, stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Yes, yeah, give it a shot. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Starts with A, but... Uh, what do I have in my... It's got to be something in the shop, hasn't it? Maybe I'm supposed to talk to the parents. I'll check these rooms over here. But I've already looked through all these things before, so there shouldn't be anything new. And only you've got to get off the Yoshi's back to get through the doors. Bit bag, that chubby guy. Come to think of it, your skills. Could you help me? Why not? Uh, I lost these shell earrings that my...